we're putting out a report today that uh, we've entitled The Case for Prevention. And the principle behind it is that the next best step that we can take around the crisis with fentanyl is to get people not to ever start taking these drugs, to, to inform them and educate them so they know never to make the choice to even begin taking these drugs. Now we're talking about a health crisis and you're a police chief. What would compel a police chief to write a paper on an opioid crisis? Right, so our police officers along with other first responders are going to scene after scene where these people have taken these drugs and are being poisoned to death. And uh, it's awful, it's, it's horrible for us to, to be in amongst these families and friends of, of people who've passed away because of this crisis. So we feel compelled to try to change this story and to, and to ensure that the public really understands and is informed about these drugs so they can make a different choice. Right, and so we've got first responders out there with naloxone. Um, we are dealing with uh, a crisis and emergency situations every day. Your pitch is for prevention, which sounds like it's a bit more long term. Uh, when we look at impaired driving, when we look at uh, anti-smoking kind of campaigns, those are long term. Do we have that kind of time with fentanyl? Well, we do and we don't. Uh, we, we can't afford not to start preventing this because nothing we've done so far in this crisis has actually stopped this horrible curve of more and more deaths every month. Uh, so we really have to find the thing that's going to change the story. Just more naloxone and more supervised injection sites have not changed the number of deaths we're having in this province. So what will? And our belief is educating people, uh, like we did with, with the smoking campaigns, about the serious risks involved, like we did with not drinking and driving. I know that takes time, but this is a long-term problem that we have in our hands, and it's going to take a really concerted effort to change what's going on. So if we look in May of 2017, another police department made a pitch for treatment on demand. How does that fit in um, your thoughts and does it fit with prevention? So uh, we've got estimates are about 50,000 people in this province are actually addicted already to opioids. And a message that you just shouldn't take these drugs or informing them how poisonous they are isn't going to help somebody who's addicted. We actually have to provide services, a comprehensive program for that person to get off drugs. And that's the right step for those people that the best thing that could ever happen to somebody is they never become addicted in the first place. And so what we're talking about today is talking to those people about making a different choice so they don't end up in that horrible place. And as the police chief uh, of the Abbotsford Police Department that's known for some prevention messaging um, from ecstasy through to anti-gang kind of prevention in the schools, do you think prevention works? Uh, I have absolutely believe that millions of Canadians uh, are not being affected by the diseases associated with smoking because of the campaign we did around anti-smoking. We changed the arc of something that was going to kill millions of Canadians. We can do the same with this drug. And so who holds the ball for this? Who is going to be responsible for prevention? Well, uh, lots of different agencies need to be involved from the Ministry of Health to the Ministry of Education to the Ministry of Justice. We all need to be involved, but we're going to ask the province to take the lead and to run a provincial program that's comprehensive. And there is a graphic that's part of your paper. It looks like some people um, at the top and the bottom of a cliff. Can you tell me what that's all about? Right, so uh, here's the story. Uh, picture a bunch of people milling around on the top of a cliff and every now and then one of them gets bumped and falls off the edge of that cliff. Uh, they fall to the ground, they're seriously hurt. We call an ambulance, that ambulance comes and tries to save that life and carts them off to a hospital. And then a few days later, somebody else gets bumped and falls off that cliff and we do the same thing over and over again. Eventually, what we need to do is think about how do we stop people from falling off the cliff in the first place. So we go up on that cliff and we build a fence, suddenly lives are saved and nobody even gets hurt. That's prevention.